Hey, what's up guys? My name is Thomas Bark. Welcome back to another video. Recently, a commenter on my channel suggested I make a video on the best private Android keyboards. And I thought that this was a great idea. That's because mostly when you're using a Android device, like either Samsung or Google or something like that, most of the time you're using like a default Samsung keyboard or you're going to be using Gboard, which is Google's keyboard. Now, both of these keyboards are pretty good in terms of functionality and convenience, but they're not very good for your privacy. That's because pretty much anything you type on these keyboards can be sent back to Google for them to make money with advertisements, collect your data, and you're going to go down the rabbit hole and you're going to be pretty much Google's slave. So in this video, I'm going to be helping you find better keyboards that are more privacy friendly. These keyboards are open source, have decent features, are very usable, and pretty easy to install. So anyways guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys, just a reminder to check out vpntierlist.com. If you want to help support the channel, I recommend visiting my website using Brave. It's a great browser for privacy advocates. And if you guys visit vpntierlist.com by downloading Brave and using it by going to brave.com slash tom352, you can help support the channel. So once you have Brave installed and ready to go, you can check out vpntierlist.com. It's a collection of all my ratings on the channel, and you're going to find lots of helpful information here on how to choose a VPN. Anyways, back to the video. So guys, one of the better keyboards out there to check out is called Hacker's Keyboard. This app is compatible with pretty much every Android device and it has some really cool features. The cool kind of thing about this application is that it's open source and it's privacy friendly, but it also has a lot of interesting kind of um, different kind of layouts to use, especially if you want to do some programming or something like that on the go. As you can see here, the keyboard is pretty customizable in most, la most languages, and it does have like those interesting features, like I said, giving you more control over, you know, what kind of typing you can do. But as you can see here, it's still got a basic good layout there. Um, it just gives you more control if you want these kind of like interesting kind of ways to type and input code. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty cool keyboard, plenty of language support. Anyways guys, the next keyboard that is pretty popular, maybe um, a little bit more popular than Hacker's Keyboard, just kind of as like a general kind of keyboard, is called the AnySoft Keyboard. So this one is an open source, uh, privacy friendly keyboard as well that's extremely customizable. This one looks more just kind of like your regular keyboard. It has multi-language support, pretty simple and clean design, nice dark layout, um, easy ability to kind of swipe around and type quickly, different kind of themes to play around with. You have light themes and dark themes, which is nice. Um, even adaptive themes if you want to adapt it to, um, you know, what your phone looks like or something like that. Um, pretty cool customization there. Plenty of emoticons, different things like this. So it's pretty user friendly, kind of kind of ex what you would expect from a keyboard, but also more privacy friendly than some other options. As you can see, it's got plenty of customizations, gesture support. I like the different swiping thing if you swipe fingers left and right. Um, and of course, you have that gesture typing as well, which is cool. And yeah, it's a decent keyboard and definitely more privacy friendly than Google Keyboard. Next up on the list is going to be Simple Keyboard. This is a keyboard for people who want a keyboard and nothing more. That's what it is kind of branding itself as. It's open source and it's not going to be stealing your data. It has all the good things like emojis, GIF support, spell checker, swipe typing. It's only a megabyte in size. It looks pretty simple to uh, or comparable to Gboard itself. So if you're someone who likes Gboard and you want a more privacy option, uh, friendly option, this is the one to check out as well. It's got pretty much everything you need, but with all, all the hassles. Now, one thing you're probably going to have to know, as I've noticed about these keyboards, is that you're probably not going to be able to use like that Google voice dictation, which makes sense because you don't want to be sending your voice and all these different queries to Google servers, right? If you want to become private, but it's just something to keep in mind and it's something people might have forgot about. Anyways, guys, these are some really good alternatives, really good privacy friendly keyboards on Android. Let me know down in the comments down below if you have any more ideas for future videos like these, and I'll see you again on the next video.